Real legend in Everett has turned off her microphone and hung up her headphones for the final time. Classic Country KXA in Everett held one final show for a DJ who broke through an old boys club and made a name for herself in radio at a time when no one thought she could. Daytime friends and uh, nighttime lovers. I see what he's doing there. It's uh, Kenny Rogers here on KXA. Happy Friday morning, Mitchell. And Moffat one more time. Classic Country KXA in Everett is gearing up for a very special show. So waiting for the arrival of the one and only Charlie Parker. She's breezing in on a, I don't know, magic carpet ride or something like that maybe, huh? When morning DJ Stitch Mitchell and Anita Moffat heard the news that one of their colleagues was hanging up the microphone for good. Hey, Charlie. They knew what had to happen. You know, push it to, the, uh, to this microphone right over there. But this isn't just any colleague. This is Charlie Parker. 60 years in radio, and today is your final show there. How about that? A remarkable chance to live a remarkable life. So. A legend, a trailblazer with over 50 years in radio. Charlie was one of the first women in the United States to work as a radio DJ. I have loved every minute of it. He's just, he's just been wonderful. Charlie's career started at a small station in Santa Fe, New Mexico in 1973. There was a time when there were no women yes. on radio. Yes. None. Nobody did traffic, nobody did news. Charlie got the chance to prove that she belonged in what was then a man's world, turning the dial on the industry itself. She worked her way up to Albuquerque, where program directors told her to be successful, she needed to be sexy. But what I found was that women, nobody will accept anybody trying to be sexy, trying to be sweet, trying to be cute. So when you just become you, then now you're okay. Now you're okay. Her authenticity made Charlie a star. Shortly after, she got a job in Everett at country radio station KWYZ, becoming the first woman with her own radio show in the Pacific Northwest. After another stint in Albuquerque, her big break came back here in Seattle. 1982, she was offered a job at country station KMPS. When I hit Seattle, I knew that if I didn't succeed, it would be a very long time for a woman got another chance. But she did succeed as a part of an on-air team that propelled KMPS into one of the top stations in the country. Oh, Dottie, you are one thousand dollars richer. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. I think She's just a really eccentric fun person that you want to spend time with. In 1991, she headed to Ventura, California, finally retiring after two decades there, at least for a little while. She was retired when she got here. Heard the radio station said, like, I got to get back involved into this. So that was 12 years ago. Walking into the studio was walking into another world. And for the last 12 years, Charlie came into KXA in Everett on the weekends to host her show. I am 80 years old, three months past 80 years old, yeah. and I'm still doing radio. Uh, everybody loves you. <laughs> That's right. The past three months have not been easy for Charlie. I'm tired and I'm going to last as long as I can, but I, I feel wonderful. A stubborn illness forced her to call out sick. If she had to miss a shift, it was like the end of the world to her. She wanted to be here every Saturday and Sunday. Over Memorial Day weekend, she went to the hospital. After rounds of tests, doctors gave her the news. Three days later, I came out with a terminal diagnosis of um, pancreatic cancer. Doctors told Charlie she had about a month to live. My life has been like a rocket. You know, everything I've ever wanted, I've gotten from radio. And now here I'm getting ready to die, and I'm not afraid. Today we're uh, celebrating the life and times of our very own Charlie Parker. There are no tears of sadness today behind those sunglasses. Life is wonderful. For about an hour and a half, for one last time, Charlie told her stories. And I said, you can't fire me. I'm Charlie Parker. Oh, wow. Oh, so imagine my surprise next Saturday when he fired me. <laughs> Tributes came pouring in. I remember you as this powerful force of nature, your beautiful blonde <laughs> hair, your bright pink lipstick. It was a morning of laughs <laughs> and love. <laughs> Thank you so much. There will never be another Charlie Parker. But this pure country DJ opened the door 
and change the voice of a generation for generations to come. To be able to say goodbye, the closure on radio, nobody gets to do that. That doesn't happen, but it happened here. I get to put a remarkable period to the end of a remarkable life. Don't be afraid, because uh, whatever happens in the end, you're going home. Doesn't matter what you believe that home will be, you're, you're going home, and that's all I care about. You know, a remarkable end. Just 36 hours after our interview and her final show, Charlie passed away at home in her sleep. KXA will continue to honor her legacy on the radio this week, celebrating over 50 years in the business and the impact she's made on her listeners. And Bill, she loved radio. She loved her listeners. Yeah, and I think the feeling was mutual. It, it seemed like after we had found out that she had passed, we wanted to figure out where the funeral was, attend that, um, but they weren't going to do that because that was kind of it. It right? was that it, last broadcast. According to Charlie, this was this was as good as it was going to get. She heard from all the people she loved. She got to do her favorite thing one last time, and it was just such a special day for her. Yeah. And it was a fitting end for an amazing career. And the very next day, she passed away. And like she said, she wasn't afraid. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. All right, Brian, great piece. Thanks. Thank you.